Hi, my name is Eden Dillard and we are part of Groveton SCCLA, also known as Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. I will be a senior this year. My freshman year, I participated in FCCLA and at regionals, I was placed first. Once I moved on to state, I was placed fourth, but was able to move on to nationals and bring back a gold medal. My sophomore year at regionals, I also got first. At state the next year, I also received a first place plaque. Then as I went to nationals for my second year, I also brought back a gold medal. Last year, I advanced from regionals with the first place in our region. At state, I received a first place plaque and advanced to nationals once again. I received a gold medal and was considered first in the nation overall. My name is Maddie Castro. This year I will be a senior and this will be my fourth year competing in FCCLA. My freshman year at regionals we placed fourth and then we did not place at state. My sophomore year due to complications I, com I competed in regionals but was not able to compete in state. Uh, last year we placed first in regionals and then we did not place at state. I'm Lindsay Jones. This year I'll be a junior and it'll be my second year competing. Uh, last year we placed first at regionals, but we did not place in state. Or, yeah, state. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, my name is Kennedy Pretty. I'll be a junior this year and this is my second year in SCCLA. Last year we placed first in regionals and we did not place in state. Um, my name is Jordan Brooks. This is my fourth year competing in FCCLA. My freshman year, we placed fourth at regionals, and then we advanced to state, where we did not place. And then my sophomore year, we placed fifth at regionals and advanced to state. Then my junior year, we placed second at regionals, and we got third place at state. My name is Madison Turner. I'll be a senior this year. This is my second year in FCCLA. Last year, we went to regionals and placed uh, second and moved up to not, not nationals, um, what's next? State. State, State and uh, placed fourth. Hi, my name is Lena Taylor. This will be my second year and I'll be a sophomore. Last year, we placed first in regionals and in state, we placed third. Hi, my name is Chloe Michelle, and we placed first in regionals and chapter display and portfolio. And then we played that. Yeah. Then we placed third in state when we went to Gals. Uh, oh, where'd we go? Gals. Gals. <laughs> my name is Kaden Dillard. Um, I'm a sophomore, and my freshman year was my first year to do FCCLA. I competed in regionals and got first. Then I moved on to state and got first. And then I went to nationals and got third overall in the nation and brought back gold. Can we still do that? using pumpkins and many other fall decorations. We also participate in helping elementary kids better their reading and education. We also have a Veterans Day luncheon we host and we also try and buy kids shoes. If you'd like to get involved in our organization, you can speak to Ms. Plotz. All you have to do is pay a fee and get involved. We host a Veterans Day luncheon every year around Veterans Day, and last year we catered to over 500 people. During the Veterans Day luncheon, we have an honor wall of veterans who you can submit their photo and their name, and they'll be put up on the wall. Um, we have uh, artwork that we display every year, and every year we have a raffle at the end, and veterans get to take home pieces of artwork that the kids at the school have created. Most of us did the Kicks for Kids projects. Me and Lena had a kid this year, and you know, they never went to Target, you know, they need new shoes. So we raised money for over 50 kids to go to Target and go to Little Susie's to buy new shoes and just have a day with a high schooler to make their day. 
Our goal this year is to raise money to buy 60 kids a new pair of shoes and take them on the trip like they were talking about. So through this, we will, ship, we will sell paper shoes to uh, the community and all the kids at the school. Also, if you want to donate to help with that, you can send donations to Ms. Cockrell in the office. And also, you can donate to anything like our Veterans Day luncheon that Karen was talking about, because donations are always acceptable. Thanks.